Harry Potter is beyond a worldwide phenomenon. It's become general knowledge for the public. You'd be hard pressed to find a single person who lives on this planet who hasn't heard of the boy who lived. Now I made a video a little while back about those deleted scenes left out of Harry Potter and how they should be included back to an extended cut. I went through those deleted scenes on the Blu-rays and through my research I actually saw a couple that weren't included anywhere. Much to my surprise, there were actually more scenes that were shot and not even included in deleted scenes. Not only were they not included, it seems no one in the general public has ever seen the footage that was shot. Now the deleted scenes on the Blu-rays give us an idea of why they ended up on the cutting room floor. And although I don't always agree with that, at least we can still see that footage. That's not the case for these ones. I simply just want to know why they weren't included on the Blu-ray. Of course, there is the most common one and one you've probably seen before. The picture of Crum and Hermione dancing while Ron watches at Bill's wedding. These pictures are online and they're not tough to find of the scene. I know it's a small scene, but I'd love to see this in motion. I would love to see Crumb in the final story of Harry Potter and see what he turned into. There are very few characters as big as Crumb that we just leave behind, so it'd be a nice little touch to end his story this way, and to add that little bit of jealousy that we already see in Ron. But on top of Crumb and Hermione dancing at Bill's wedding, there's another little tidbit that was left out. Now this is a big one in my opinion. It seems in the corner when this was happening, Lupin has an important moment with Harry. Now it may seem a little unassuming, but this is the moment where Lupin is asking Harry to be Teddy's father, Lupin and Tonks' son. This is an incredibly important scene that was cut out. I think it's a pivotal moment for Lupin, a character who's criminally underseen in the last film, but it's also an important moment for Harry. He has come full circle, from a child to an adult that now has experience and guidance, and he can pass it off to others. It would also be a nice moment to reflect on Sirius, who obviously was Harry's godfather. Sirius was extremely important to these two characters, and I really want to see this moment on screen. Speaking of Sirius, there's another scene involving him that was left out as well. In this scene, we see Harry find a letter from his mother addressed to Sirius when they're staying in 12 Grim Old Place. Now when Harry finds it, the letter is actually missing its second page, so it kind of cuts off mid-sentence. But the actual version of this letter is available. It's different than the books and shortened, but here's what it says. Dear Sirius, thank you for Harry's birthday present. You'd think he'd been born on a broom. James says he's got the look of a seeker, but then James would. We had a very quiet birthday tea. Just us and old Bethilda who dotes on Harry. Wormy dropped by late in the day, but he seemed down and didn't stay for long. James is frustrated being shut up in here, but Dumbledore still has his invisibility cloak, so he doesn't have much choice. By the way, Bethilda tells me the most amazing stories about our old headmaster. I don't know how much to believe. Can it really be true that Dumbledore... And then it cuts off there. It's a small scene but it gives us a glimpse into their life. And again, it would be a nice quiet moment for Harry to reflect on why he's there and how much he's lost. Now you'll see a common thread of these being the more quiet moments in the series. And I feel like that's kind of what we miss in a lot of these scenes. I'd really like to see that footage, like this one from Order of the Phoenix, with the aftermath of Umbridge catching Dumbledore's army. Looks like they're sitting in the Gryffindor common room and discussing the future of the army. It's most likely that they're disbanding it completely especially after Dumbledore disappearing and the school being taken over by Umbridge, but it's an important scene for the emotional tone of the film. Although we kind of get to see the trio coming to terms with this, I think the film leaves our other characters shortchanged. I want to see the defeat in Neville, the twins, and even Luna. This was their outlet. This is what they put their energy into. And I want to see the characters who are growing in the series reflect on this. Next one I definitely want to see in the main film, because Lucius Malfoy has a lot more depth in the books, and we hear a lot more about him going to Azkaban and the effects it has on him and his family. This is something that is only briefly touched on in the movie, and I think it's extremely important to Draco's development as a character. Now this scene simply shows Draco coming to terms with what's happening to his father, as well as they shot scenes of Lucius in Azkaban with his sign in hand. I think showing Lucius in Azkaban and showing him as he's changed and really being stripped down is really important to Draco in the overall story. Another one is the waterfall scene. As you can tell by the hair, this scene is obviously from Goblet of Fire. It's a little unclear when this scene takes place, but I'd like to think it's after Cedric's death, Harry reflecting on the road ahead of him and how tough it will be and really his connection with Voldemort. Another one that was discluded is about Sirius as well. Now I never liked how the films handled the death of Sirius, but my main complaint is how they kind of glossed over Harry's loss. When Sirius dies and Harry loses the last little fragment of his family, Harry should be devastated. Now I've commented on the scene where Ron comes to see Harry in his room, but there also seems to be one more scene by the lake where Harry's grieving by himself. Again, in this quiet moment, I would love to see Harry in his thoughts. 
the emotions overtaking him. It would only take a minute, but it would help translate that loss that would really affect Harry to his core. Lastly, there is a scene that made it into the film, but there's actually a different version of it that was cut together. When we see Snape's worst memory, and there's James Potter and the Marauders behind him bullying Snape, it changes the way we see Snape and Harry's father. But there's actually a different version with Lily included in this scene. This is most likely why it's one of Snape's worst memories, not only being bullied, but being embarrassed by the girl he loves so much. That simple shot of Snape with Lily would add so much more context to their relationship at that point. Now I understand this is probably why it wasn't included. It would change how we saw the character and the reveal that would happen later on. But I just really love Snape as a character and really would love to see this scene in its entirety. Now I'm not saying I want all of these scenes included in the main cut of the film, but it seems criminal to not even give us the option to see them. That last interaction between Harry and Lupin, or give us that moment to internalize Sirius's death, or even see where Victor Crumb is years later. And it would be different if these scenes weren't really adding anything to the overall story or to the characters, but that's not the case. I feel like there's important things included in this. So were you aware of any of these unreleased scenes? And which one do you want to see most? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you to my patrons, Adam Gray, Jeremy Jacobs, Jenny Edwards, Game Marchander, Gunnar Legland, Colleen West, Marco Perry, Roland, Andy McShane, Lon Hudson, Karen Hunt, Joris Conan, and Brandon Warner, Sweeby, Alex Tal, Derek B. Bell, Jacob Wolf, Alexander Gardulo, Lisa Hurick, Rachel Kilker, and newcomer, James Rogers. Thank you for your support, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.